Hello Mazda MX-5 fans, in particular the third generation, and this is a cartoon version of it. It's made by Wanda Coffee. It's a free item if you live in Japan and you happen to buy their coffee. It literally comes on the can of coffee in like a plastic cap. So you'll see the deformation, it is quite goofy. <laughs> the wheels are so small, it looks really, really goofy. But that's part of it. Part of the fun of these things, it literally makes me laugh. So, all right, look at that. Eesh. So it's definitely uh, messed up tires, but it's all, I don't know what happened here. Like it, someone clamped it or something, but I'm gonna swap these out so it doesn't matter. It's interesting, it's like a metallic red. There's literally speckles inside the plastic or something. And it's nice that they printed the logo. The headlights a little messed. No, never mind. That's just a reflection. The headlights and the fog lights are nice. Super fine texture in the grill painted. That's just black paint there. It's just a red body painted. So the wheels, yeah. Really, again, I don't know what happened here. The tail lights are nice, you know. There's actually different colors going on. This tab is what's holding the back at the bottom on. And then this is quite legible. And then you even have two colors for the interior. Very cool. This is a pullback toy. That's why you have that big rectangle, this motor motor there. So Wanda's the only smart brand of freebies that actually tells you this is for Wanda Coffee. Kirin and uh, Suntory, they don't seem to do that. And I think Asahi as well. Alright, well let's get these out of here. These wheels that is. Alright. So yeah, you can see why... what? Why is there so much plastic there? That seems wasteful. I don't know why they would do that. Oh, they're actually molding the depth of the interior. That's interesting. It's, it's black. I didn't even see it, right? It seems unnecessary. They could have just blanked off the whole top. Uh, so yeah, we got like a Cherokee size motor here. Uh, it's a strange mounting. You got to pull it sideways to release the tabs. That's one tab. There we go. Nope. But then the other tab goes in place. There we go. And then, I don't know. Hold on here. I get a different angle. I gotta pry this off. Well, nope. Well, I'm gonna... You know what? These wheels might actually be worth keeping for something else. They're, I don't know what, but... Uh, so now I gotta get another plier. If I grip in the middle, it won't matter because the tire will cover it up. So it's interesting. No, that tire's all messed up. Yeah, whatever. I'll put those in a box, figure it out later. So I have a different Choro Q motor here. I'll pop that back in. Pop that back. Pop this back. Come on back in there. For some reason. Oh, I see. Wait a second. Is that the same size or not? Oh, I didn't actually snap it in. Okay, it's colliding with the top. That's better. Ugh, get these pliers out of here. Alright. So we have some wheels here. These are actually Nissan Figaro wheels. Uh, I 3D printed them. Oddly, I don't actually have a deformed Nissan Figaro yet. Choro Q Zero made one. But I never see them for sale at a price I'm willing to pay. They're really overpriced. And so one day it'll happen, but I'm not gonna go spend like $50 on a Choro Q. <laughs> If it was a super old rare one, yeah, maybe, but not a Nisa, not a Cherokee Zero. All right. Anyways, that's a different topic, and it's just, uh, its own. So these actually look kind of like the first generation Miata wheels, by the way. But uh, so they work pretty well. So let's look at all the other Miatas, but done by Cherokee. So here's the first generation. Although oddly, they've molded the roof up. It's a convertible, right? And as I did 3D print uh, OEM wheels for it. Uh, the second gen is this one here. And this has some, I forget the name of these wheels, but they are JDM wheels. 
So, then the third gen by Chero Q, but this one has Hot Wheels uh, wheels in a painted copper. In fact, I should put that next to this so you can see the differences. So you can see the deformation changes and differences between brands. And then we have the fourth generation, the RF. Uh, this is a Chero Q Zero. Uh, overpriced, really, for what it is. And then just for fun, I'm going to throw up a Mazda Cosmo R no R360 Coupe because it is an old car, and you know I'm sure some of the styling elements of that may have come through in the MX-5s. So the Chero Q, I mean, it just has red taillights. This has multiple color taillights. They both have headlights. Uh, this one actually has a silver printed. This is a molded in. A logo but no silver the interior is pretty much the same you know color and molding details I almost feel like the free item is a little bit better in the amount of work and detail than the one you have to buy from Choro Q so well whatever all right so I don't know what this character is I just got it because it's small it's the kind of person I've envisioned driving this up a mountain road so thank you for watching today, and I guess I'll see you if ever I get another Wanda Coffee uh, car. Bye now.